We are talking to Mikey Clancy from the Lockree Distillery in Ireland. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so um, I'm um, one of three siblings uh, in a family business. So we're setting up a distillery in our hometown of Lanesboro in County Longford um, in, in the very centre of Ireland. So we're about halfway across the country. If you were going between Dublin and Galway, we're about halfway across the country. Uh, we're at the we're called Lockree Distillery because we're at the, the um, very top of Lockree, which is the middle lake on the River Shannon, which runs down the very centre of Ireland. Um, so our distillery is in our hometown of Lanesboro, um, something we're very proud of. Um, so we're a family business, three siblings, and myself, my brother Peter, my sister Sheila, and we set, set up the distillery in our hometown. So we started distilling in 2018 mm -hmm. uh, at a very small scale, and we're distilling gin and vodka in our small distillery. Um, we are soon to start distilling whiskey in that small distillery, but as part of the bigger plan, we're building a much bigger site um, in, a, in, a, in a much better uh, location overlooking Lockery. Um, so we, we'd like to say we're one of the best located distilleries in the country because we're in the very centre of Ireland and we're overlooking the beautiful Lockery. Um, so um, we hope to be distilling in our new site um, at some stage during next year um, and in the meantime we're working very hard where we are um, and producing uh, top quality gin, vodka and soon whiskey as well at a very small scale. Have you already have sourced whiskey? Yes, so, so we brought out, um, we started in 2019 uh, with our first releases of sourced whiskies and we're very open about the fact that these are sourced so we've called these this range the bridge uh, with a view to being upfront and open about the transparency about the fact that these are source whiskey so the idea of the name is that it's a bridge to the point where we have whiskey that we have distilled ourselves but it's also called after the bridge in Lanesboro um, which the first bridge was built in Lanesboro in the year 1000 AD so it's very much a strategic crossing point on the Shannon so there's lots of history in the area and that bridge in Lanesboro is represented in the design of our label as well and right. the actual label here or the actual bridge on the label so these are single cask whiskies these are single cask whiskies and each each release is different and they're limited edition and when we say limited edition these we're talking about the contents of a single cask um, not a limited edition of 25,000 bottles <laughs> These are all limited. These are all somewhere between probably about 200 and maybe 750 bottles per so release. How many of those are here in Germany? How many can you so buy? So at the moment, I think there are two on sale in Germany, okay. um, which is the uh, Barley Harbour, which is a six and a half year old single malt finished or come, uh, aged all the way in uh, bourbon cask. Right. And then the other one that, that I, is, is on sale in Irish whiskies is Rindoon release, which is a uh, uh, 14 year old cooling single malt and it's finished uh, for 22 months in a Montpazillac wine cask so it's the first Irish whiskey ever finished in a Montpazillac wine cask there were only 306 bottles of this release right. and there's not very many of them left there's only a few left in Ireland and Marika has most of what, right. what came to Germany so uh, again talking about naming the bridge is named after the bridge that's uh close to, to, your, to your hometown and exactly, building yeah. the bridge between the past and the future. Exactly. Yeah. And you're also proud of the naming of your blended malt, right? Yes, that's correct. So our blended malt is our blended, it's, it's a blended uh, whiskey, so it's not a, not a malt, it's a blended whiskey. And um, we call this Bart. So Bart was my dad, um, and he passed away a number of years ago. But this whiskey is named by, our, by us in his honor. So it's our way of bringing him along on the crazy journey that we, as, a, as, as family members, have, have gone on to build our own whiskey distillery in our hometown. And that's something he would have been very proud of. So. Mm -hmm. um, his his hobby was fixing antique clocks so this is where the branding comes from so we've got the, the clock uh, key here on the front the clock face but also a clock is a very good metaphor for a blended whiskey because all of the components within a blended whiskey must work together well and if even the smallest thing is out of place the whole thing doesn't work but we're very comfortable and confident that we've got this right because this whiskey has won two gold medals uh, one in, in uh, San Francisco World Spirits Competition 
and won in the London Spirits competition. So it's, it's a, a top quality whiskey and it's going down very well with the whiskey community in Ireland particularly. Um, we've recognised it as, as one of the best blends to come out of Ireland in a long time. So it's it's a complex blend. So it's got, and we've broken down the full, again as a, as a kind of statement of transparency, we've broken down the full details of the blend on the back of the bottle. So it's 79% grain. We've got a decent amount of pot still whiskey in there, so 11% pot still, which makes it the quintessential Irish blend. So the pot still adds creaminess, it adds spice, and it adds that lovely texture and mouthfeel to the whiskey. And it, without that, I don't think you can have a, a, a really top class Irish whiskey blend. Um, we've also then we've we've uh, included malt whiskies finished in rye cask, uh, which gives more spiciness. We've included malt whiskies finished in Oloroso sherry cask, which gives lovely fruitiness uh, and lovely um, uh, sweetness to the whiskey. And then we've a little bit of peated malt in there as well, which just gives that lovely uh, wisp of smoke to the finish and, and kind of lengthens the finish. But it's also a nod to the area where we come from. So we are surrounded by peat bogs in Lanesborough, so it's a little kind of nice nod to that. But it's not, it, it's, the peat is in there just at just enough so it doesn't offend the people who don't like peat whiskey. So lots of people don't like peat whiskey but absolutely love this because it's, it's, it's so well integrated and it just is such a, 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 an easy drinker of a whiskey but there's lots of lots going on in it as well. So we've, 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 we've done quite well with it, I think. So happy to have you through whiskey here in Germany. Hopefully there will be more in the future. Absolutely. Thank yes. you for your time. Thank you for talking to us and enjoy your stay here in Germany. No problem at all. Thank you very much. Blanche. Blanche.